Welcome to the Royal College of Organists A to Z of the Organ. Today's letter is M for Messian, musician of worlds visible and invisible, of things temporal and eternal, of nature and the divine. Messian was born eight years after the beginning of the 20th century, and he died eight years before that century ended. His parents were not musicians, and they were not religious believers, in contrast to their son, who declared, Je suis né croyant, I was born believing. For Messian, the truths of the Catholic faith stand as eternal verities, and he said that expressing these truths is the best and noblest aspect of his work. Messian's father, Pierre, was a Shakespeare scholar, his mother, the poet, Cécile Sauvage, her poem, L'âme en bourgeon, The Soul in Bud, was written while she was expecting her firstborn. Her poetic intuitions, which proved to be remarkably prescient about her son's future musical life, were a determining influence on Messiaen's artistic vocation. Messiaen was appointed titular organist at the Church of La Trinité in Paris, aged 22. He was to fulfil that role for more than 60 years until the end of his life. He used the organ to research new timbres and said when asked if he would ever seek a more prestigious position, it is my organ, my child, my son, I cannot leave it. Messiaen's unmistakable style developed early. His first published work, Le Banquet Celeste, appeared in 1928 even before he was appointed to La Trinité. When we listen to this music, it can only be Messiaen. Messiaen's musical language developed by addition of new techniques, forming a technical apparatus from which nothing was excluded and nothing from earlier stages abandoned. His modes of limited transposition and non-retrogradable rhythms have in common what he called the charm of impossibilities, and they share something of the incantatory quality of magic spells. Messiaen described himself as a composer, a pianist, an organist, an ornithologist, and a rhythmician. Research into rhythm was one of his strongest interests, and he himself said that that research was the most important characteristic of 20th century music and the aspect that would set it apart from preceding eras. When talking about Messiaen, we cannot omit what he called the greatest musicians which exist on our planet, the birds whose songs he notated so scrupulously and incorporated into so many of his works. For him, they are emblems of joy and freedom. And then there is sound colour, his association of chords and complexes of sound with combinations of colours as vivid as those of stained glass windows. The effect is what he called éblouissement, that is a dazzling of the senses.
Thank you for joining me and do look out for the next video in this A to Z series, the letter N. Thank you.